obviously love Oh Holy Night. I grew up listening to Mariah Carey. And she, even though the song existed before her time, made this song, in my mind, famous. Love, love Oh Holy Night. Here's how to sing it well. As I was studying the text and thinking about how do we make it easier to sing, I was like, well, what can we cut out? It can be kind of long and it's kind of annoying because everybody knows it and hardly anybody can sing it well. The words are so beautiful. And if you find an appropriate tempo, it will make it easy to sing so that you can focus on the words and compel the listener rather than drag them through the mud with you as you try to sing it. 82 to 86 beats a minute, no slower. And I dare you to practice this hymn from start to finish with a metronome. And I bet if you practice it, you can do it really, really well. And depending on how your voice moves, you may be closer to 82 or closer to 86. And we're only talking about four beats a minute difference, but just that slight adjustment can make or break how the song feels to sing. Find the tempo between 82 and 86 that works for you. The key of this hymn should be B flat, period. Verse one, no riffing, no questions asked. Settle into the tempo, settle into the nerves, get comfortable for the rest of the song of what comes later. Anytime you sing, oh night divine, the vowel of night and the second syllable of divine, both need to be ah, uh, oh night divine. That will make it easier to sing. Try it. You're probably singing uh, and uh can be difficult to tune well. Practice all of the riffs that you're going to do at half speed so that you make sure that when it's up to tempo, you can sing all of them correctly. Slow it down. After the main theme of the hymn, and then you get down to da -dum -bum -bum, the weary world rejoices. And we like to make it breathy, don't we? Because that's how Mariah Carey sings it. But no, we must resist the urge to make it breathy. Even though it's down low, the tone still needs to be clear because that's how we can hear that the vocal folds are adducting fully. I can't believe I'm about to reference placement, placement in singing, but here I am, I'm doing it. It feels a little more forward, maybe in the mask, if you've ever heard that term. The weary world rejoices. And that way, it, you don't need to push volume because your vocal folds are fully adducted, singing a clear sound. No matter what you do in the rest of the song, that little section, when it goes down low, should be forward, bright, and potentially not that loud, and that's okay. Have fun singing.